Roots on the River is coming up fast. It's coming up June 3rd through 5th. Izzy Sarabrov is making his debut at Roots on the River. Hi. Hello, Izzy. You grew up with this festival. I did. I've been going to this festival since I was like five or six, I think. You're a young guy. You just turned, what, seven? 16, 16 yeah, 16. And the festival is 17. Yeah, it's pretty crazy to think about. <laughs> I was listening to the CD. I got my hands on some advanced tracks. Good job, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Amazing vocal control. That's something that's beyond my capacity for understanding. How do you do that? Um, I don't really know. It's just kind of like a, if you think about going from one note to another, it's just kind of like doing that motion really fast. So it's, it's like when you're doing track or you're running or something, you train yourself to go faster and faster. And that's kind of like what I do vocally is um, I start doing like one run and I go pretty slow mm -hmm. and I just keep working on it until I can go faster and faster. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a teacher or is this... You no, I'm totally self-taught as far as voice goes, which means I do a lot of things wrong. So don't take any of my advice, but that's just what I do. How about the piano? I'm also totally self-taught on the piano. I just sort of fiddle around and find chords that I like, and then I put them in my stuff, and I'm cool with it. You occasionally have this penchant for these great clusters of oh, notes. I love cluster chords. Cluster chords are awesome because, like, you hear your regular chords, and they're they're cool and all. You've got your Neapolitan chords, like your major, your minor. But I really like adding in a bunch of other notes to sort of give them more depth and color, I think. And this CD is, you're going to drop this with Roots. Yeah, it's pretty much debuting around June 30. It's kind of 3rd E. I don't mean to say 30, but <laughs> June 3rd. You just tracked this a month ago, something like that? Uh, we recorded in late March, I believe, mm -hmm. with Dan Richardson, and he was pretty awesome. It was fun. It was like a 12-hour full session like we had the nine hours of recording and then he did some extra mixing for a few mm -hmm. and it was a good time yeah we recorded down at ellie long music center on the piano that they have there so a single session that's amazing um one of the songs was really really rough at that recording session because it was so long and we saved it right till the very end my voice was just fried so we had to do that song once more we only did like one other try on that song like that was a one-shot thing, and then we mixed it all after that. So um, Last Choice is the first song on the album, and we had to re-record that one just because it was mm. not up to snuff. It's a really good track. I really like it. It's one of my favorites on the album. It's about not really a breakup. It was kind of a breakup. It was that in-between, it's very much a take-me-or-leave-me kind of song. The whole chorus is basically saying, hey, I'm here, either leave me alone or, like, stay with me because I'm I'm kind of done with the whole wishy-washy yeah. atmosphere. I guess it was kind of like the first love kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's high school. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. So many of the other artists that I've been talking to, um, music, it's not necessarily analysis on stage, but it helps them work through things. Yeah, I would say that's totally true. I mean, I probably don't deal with the heartbreak as well as some other people do but with the help of music and writing and things like that i can sort of get all the angry feelings out and function like a normal human in society <laughs> yeah <laughs> give yourself a couple of years you'll become jaded and spiteful oh i can't wait <laughs> you were born in new orleans any memory of new orleans i have i I might. I don't think they're memories so much as they're things I imagine, I guess. I have, I, I can't remember tangible things, but I can remember, like, atmosphere, if that makes any sense. Sure. Yeah. And then um, my mom tells me a lot about things that go on down there, and I really want to visit again. But I haven't had any, like, in-depth memories. I think I was too young for that. So really, you're a Bellows Falls person. I'm quite a Bellows Falls person. I know I spent two years in Iowa. But for the most part, I've lived in Bellows Falls all my life. I grew up in Minnesota. Iowa doesn't count. Okay, yeah. You have a song paying a little bit of homage to Bellows Falls on the CD. I do. It's quite tongue-in-cheek. Mm -hmm. um, it's just all of the like weird people that you see around Bellows Falls. And I was just like, they're too good to pass up. Yeah. They're just they're out there for people to see. Why not put them in music? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the dancer has been coming and going. 
Uh, I haven't seen Tattoo Face for a while. I had completely forgotten about him. I, I never forget him. My parents call him the mayor, and it just makes oh. me giggle. <laughs> the mayor? The mayor. You're not all piano, though. You're not all about piano. It doesn't stop there with the voice and the keys. No. Um, I play the flute for the Vermont Youth Orchestra as well. So um, I know there's a youth orchestra playing at Roots this year. So Yeah, go. the main youth rock. Oh, that's so orchestra. cool. That's so cool. The Vermont Youth Orchestra is very much a um, full, like, I don't know how many people are in it. It's a lot of people in an orchestra, a lot of teenagers, very much angst, the angstiest orchestra that has ever existed. <laughs> it's uh, it's a lot of fun. The wind section is great. <laughs> We're very passionate about what we do. The strings are super cool. They sound great. Um, yeah, and we play pieces like The Firebird Suite by Stravinsky and um, Night on Bald Mountain by uh, Morskov, which is really cool. I had a lot of fun this year, yeah, and I can't wait to do things next year, hopefully. I auditioned. I haven't gotten anything back yet. I want to back up to this angsty orchestra thing. Okay, yeah, angsty orchestra. We're just all bitter. I think it's an orchestra thing. So <laughs> it's already happening. <laughs> yeah. You did a composition for, like, what piano drum um yeah um i did a composition called under ice and it was featured in a vermont mm, composition festival called music comp it was for piano uh, a little bit of percussion and the trumpet and it was it was fun it was a really great project to work on definitely something to push me outside of my comfort zone because mm -hmm. I've never had to do anything like that before. I've never had a piece played before other than that time. Um, and it went really well. I was super excited. Everyone was fantastic. Mm -hmm. The players were really amazing and super nice. So it was a good time. I like composing. Composing's fun. You've gone places with the flute. You've taken it to some pretty good heights. Uh, Sing your praises. Oh, uh, well, I was second flute in New England. Um, so that's the second best in New England. I wanted to be first real bad, but a freshman beat me. And then I got second in the state because I was too focused on New England. And then I was fifth in the state last year. So I was I was second this year. I was fifth last year. So I'd, I've been doing better, but I'm not as good as I want to be doing. And then... Oh, I'm doing a I'm doing a solo piece in the Chamber Festival, the Burlington Chamber Festival, oh, cool. something like that. Um, Champlain Valley Chamber Festival. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I'm going to be doing that in August. I'm playing the Brandenburg by Bach, which is going to be mm -hmm. a fun time. Um. Oh yeah, I, I do musicals at, at my at my school at the high school. I was um I was the lead in two plays this year. I was. Mike the Steelworker in Stephen Schwartz's Working. <laughs> and um, then I was Dimitri in our school production of Anastasia, which was really fun. And I was also in a play. We do one acts every year, but I'm not a great actor. I'm, I'm primarily good at singing, so I get <laughs> the singing roles. But um, there's no singing in a real play, so I was doing... Um, I was kind of a secondary character in our school production of Wojciech, which was really mm. fun. Um, it's a German play about a guy who kills his wife. <laughs> so cute. I'm thinking about Mike the Steelworker just belting it out. Mike the Steelworker. Oh, it was such a good... I didn't actually end up belting in that. I belted at the end. Mike the Steelworker is a crooner? Oh, yeah. Mike the Steelworker is such a crooner. You have no idea. He's he's hyper angst. He has a son, and yeah, he'd be thinking about his son. And you would get that if you've seen the play, <laughs> which no one has. <laughs> You don't have a musician presence yet much on the internet. No. You do have a personal Facebook page. Macaroni and cheese? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Um, my friend for my birthday got me a pillow with mac and cheese printed onto it, like realistic mac and cheese. I once went an entire week eating only mac and cheese for dinner, and I have tested the boundaries of mac and cheese by adding different things to make it taste more delicious. I love mac and cheese so much that I would consider wearing it on my body <laughs> circa Lady Gaga 2007. I, I really like mac and cheese and the little like and the little rubber duck that's on top of yeah. it. We hide those around the house for each other so that we can find them. They're like 
They're rubber ducks, but they have cat ears and tails and cat prints. We call them cucks because they're cat ducks. And I was going through my Christmas presents and I opened a box and it was full of little boxes. And I started opening the little boxes and they were, I got like 12 cucks. <laughs> it was a good time. It's, we're weird together. I have my mom. I've got my Ezra. They're the parentals. And then I've got my sister, and she's the angstiest of the angsty. Like, I'm an angsty orchestra player, but she's, like, an angsty not orchestra player. Like, she takes angst to a whole new level. And then we've got the little boy. He's four. He's also angsty, but he doesn't like to tell anyone he's angsty. So he just kind of, like, plays video games, and it's good. We like mini golf. Mini golf is good. And also mac and cheese and musicals and Harry Potter. Hula hooping? Oh my gosh, hula hooping. I have like so many things to say about hula hooping. I would like to dance like the hula hoop dancer at Roots because I can't do that. I got fifth place hula hooping at the 4th of July thing in Saxton's River two years ago, three years ago. I just got two new hula hoops though, so I'd be practicing. I'm going to win someday. I'm going to win someday. <laughs> well, you start slow and then you get, get faster. Uh, that is not how hula hooping works. <laughs> You hit the ground running hula hooping. You don't just start slow. That's not how it works. And if you were doing the 4th of July thing at the hula hooping thing in front of the general store in Saxon River, do not wear sandals in any capacity. Flip flops are the worst. I tried to take them off, and then my feet were getting burnt on the ground because it was asphalt. So just don't do it. It's going to hurt real bad. You will have blisters and then get fifth place. End of story. What else are you passionate about? Non-musical and non-macaroni and cheese and non-hula hoop. I really like cats. Cats are my best friends. I like to consider myself probably the most antisocial musician there ever was because I really just like cats. I could pet a cat and eat macaroni and cheese all day. <laughs> you brought the keyboard. I, I did bring a keyboard. It's not for sale, but yes. Let's talk about Roots again before, okay. before I let you go over there to the keyboard. Okay. Any thoughts? I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous because, like, my my music is very much, like, my own music. It's mm -hmm. not like anything I've really ever heard before. The most akin it can get to is maybe, like, Adele, Amy Winehouse-y, but, like, it's definitely my own thing. So I'm, I'm just a little, like, I'm nervous about showing off what I have to offer and just seeing if people like it because it is so drastically, like, different than things that I've heard in the past. Um, but I'm also also excited because that could either be a good or bad thing. I'm I'm so grateful that I get to play this year. It's been a goal of mine since as soon as I've started like really singing since Radioki. I've just wanted to play at Roots ever since, and I'm so excited that I finally get to. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a good time. I, I'm still gonna be working at the merch tent. I tried to hustle a band their own merchandise. It was a good How time. Work out. Uh, it was okay. I mean, they were nice about it. They knew I was doing my job. Did they buy anything? No, they didn't buy anything. Mm. It kind of sucked. I really wanted to sell them their own merchandise. I am pretty good at it. I just have no idea who I'm talking to ever. So, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the song. Uh, the title track, uh, Upon a Cloud, is very much about just me sort of falling into this kind of endless cycle where I'm detaching myself from the world, this reality that's around me and sort of falling back into my mind and just that, those times where you're like not doing well, like I'm just not putting forth anything. It's not worth it at this point. Like, what's the point? It's just this cycle where I'm falling back into it and falling back into it and falling back into it. And just the final climax that happens is really just like, what am I here for? All I am doing in this life is breathing and eventually I'm going to die anyway. So like what's going on? Like why why am I here? <laughs> it's not a happy song. Um <laughs> but I really like it. It it's very interesting musically. I think it's the most musically fun to play, but it's definitely one of the deeper ones on the album. Here I am upon a cloud Not doing work in space and out I don't 
won't face reality I'd rather dream and drown out the world Before it gets to me When the nights are long and the days are dark And something eats away your heart I Just ignore the sound never-ending crowds to try to keep my spirits high so my feet don't touch the ground here I am my life's a mess the world spinning around my head I try to keep myself above it all and I'm trying not to A stretch is too much to ask You try to reach But it's just not within your grasp oh. What's the point of shooting for the moon When it leads to certain doom With thoughts like Pollock painted That's always waiting How can I try to help someone else When I can barely carry myself Here I am, my life's a mess The world's spinning around my head try to keep myself above it all and I'm trying not to fall trying not to descend into madness into madness into madness That was pretty amazing. Thank you. Izzy and family, thank you so much for coming in today and letting us get to know you a little bit. I'm really looking forward to the set. 
Yeah, I'm 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 excited too. And that's uh, Friday, right? Four o'clock. You're you're opening the big tent. You're warming it up for everybody. You're setting the tone for the whole festival. Yeah, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna blow everyone's minds. Should we go out on a track from the CD? Should I should I play something off? I'm kind of liking the lead cut. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Congratulations on everything that you've accomplished so far, and it's just the beginning. Thanks so much. I'm, I'm excited for what's to come. So unsure of how I feel inside As you sort out your emotions what do I do while well, I bide my time? You say that you love me. How do I know that's for sure? Don't lead me on just to close the door to your heart Oh stay with me Please be open Don't shut me out Don't be afraid of what you don't know Or set me free Don't keep me going I don't want to say this already sinking love Just leave me be We'd been together Oh, it seemed like forever But it was only a lie Time passed and we thought it would last, but we just didn't see eye to eye. Left me for reasons I can't comprehend. You broke my spirits, but you still want to be friends. Why can't you seem to understand? How I feel about the task at hand Oh, stay with me Please be open Don't shut me out Don't be afraid Of what you don't know Or set me free Don't keep me going I don't want to sail This already sinking love Just leave me be endlessly I think about what life would be I wonder if there's a home for me somewhere When will I feel alright about All the things in life all oh, Happiness seems to be right Oh, stay with me Please be open Don't shut me out Don't be afraid and for you don't know or set me free don't keep me going I don't want to say this already sinking love just leave me be I'm strong but you keep me from moving on 